Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This is video number one of the team of the season so far, preparation info. I'm gonna be taking you guys through the entire market. We're gonna go from low tier, SBC fodder, all the way up to icons, team of the years. Talk about stuff that's gonna happen during team of the season with the market movements, ways you can make coins, and uh, just kind of the price fluctuations and what to expect with these cards. Today though, we're talking about SBC fodder, okay? We're gonna talk about SBC fodder today because this is one of the biggest ways to make coins during team of the season because there's gonna be so many SBCs out in this game. We have guaranteed tots SBCs. We've got player SBCs. We're probably gonna have some variation of baby, middle, and prime icon upgrades. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we had the baby and the middle out at some point during team of the season we might have team of the week upgrade sbcs and of course tons of flashbacks player moments uh and tots sbcs player sbcs as well so a lot of sbcs are going to be coming out and that's going to cause a lot of fluctuation on these sbc fodder cards now we've seen in the past couple weeks what sbc fodder or what sbcs have the power to do on this game 86 is last week uh, all three times that the foot party bag SBCs came out, uh, these guys were like 30,000 coins, right? They're still only down to 20k. Uh, I would like to see them at like 14 to 15k again. You might think that's crazy. It's not crazy because that's what they were before um, March with all of the, the middle icon SBC being out and then the market inflation on foot birthday when people had tons of coins. So I would like to see these cards this week take a, take a tumble and that's going to be a perfect... Uh, opportunity for us to do a club stock or to, to invest in these if you like doing those types of things so we're going to talk about all of that today we're going to talk about 84s all the way up to like 89s and 90s during team of the season because we're going to look at some of the spcs from last year and you're going to see there's a lot especially if you remember there's a lot of good value spcs and a lot of stuff that people want to craft and people want to complete uh for teams during tots so Let's go back and we're going to look at some FIFA 19 stuff off the bat. I'm going to show you guys. We're going to start with the lower tier stuff. Talk through this. Talk about the SPCs they drop and then how it could be the same as last year uh, for this year in FIFA 20 and how it could be a little bit different. So, Ilkay Gundogan, right? This is a fan favorite 84 rated card investment. He has an 84 rated card this year as well. Again, the reason why we're looking at him is because he fluctuates. Because he's got Prem links. He's German. And he's a good position, right? Center mids. Center backs, outside backs, and also right and left wings or right and left mids are the, the investments that you want to be, the cars you want to invest in, the, those best positions. Like as we've really seen this year with all the SBCs um, coming out in foot, those, those positions go up the most, especially center backs. Center backs go crazy um, during, during SBCs because this year they're requiring 70, 80 chem on almost every single SBC. So... What happened to Gudewan last year during Team of the Season? So last year, Team of the Season, most consistent, came out on the 10th of May. So right here is basically when it came out. So Gudewan was high coming in, got hit with all the lightning rounds for Team of the Season, most consistent, went down to 4.9K, and then look what happened on Saturday into Sunday and into Tuesday, right? The dude goes from 4.9K all the way up to 7.5K. Now, why did he do that? I want to show you right now. First of all, Last year, uh, well, this is this is. I'll show you Premier League team this season. So, so the reason Gundogan went up uh, the second week. So right here, uh, mate, the tots for Premier League came out on the 17th. He went down to 5k again, and then boom, back up to 6k. Um, but the first week, what they did last year was they dropped a, they dropped two different guaranteed tots SBCs, right? So they would drop two leagues at one time. So last year they dropped most consistent, and they dropped EFL tots at the same time. They, then the next week, they dropped Premier League Tots and the SPL, Guaranteed SBC, right? So the, the second league SBC, or like the lower tier league, so either EFL or SPL, like last year for the first two weeks, this SBC came out on Saturday. So last year, Team of the Season started on May 10th. May, 7, May 17th was the second uh, set of two Team of the Seasons. And so SPL was, was uh, paired up with the Prem. This SBC came out on Saturday. It was out from Saturday until Monday. Uh, and then on Monday, the Premier League Tots guarantee came out, right? So that's why you see when we look at a lot of these fodder cards today, and we look at a lot of their graphs in June, um, or not June, in May, 
a lot of the peak prices, it was literally copy and paste every single week. You could buy these cards during lightning rounds on Friday and Saturday, they would get low, and then all of a sudden, by midweek, by Monday, Tuesday, they would be way up in price. You could do that with these 84s, 85s, 86s a lot. They fluctuated all over the place uh, because of these SBCs. Just again, look here, during most consistent, 4.9K to 7K on the PlayStation. Down during uh, Prem Tots from 5 all the way up to 6, right? Down the next week, 4.5K all the way up to 7K. Literally, you're almost doubling your coins every single week. You could do this. Uh, you could go ham on the 84s and make tons and tons of coins with these fluctuations. And as long as EA keeps it the same this year, if they keep the, even if they do different days, um, as long as they do like the same uh, trajectory, I guess, like drop the lower league first and then, you know, cause that gives some, that gives everybody in the game, a team of the season player that they can turn into these SBCs because these SBCs require a TOTS card and like an 86 rated squad. So as long as they drop the lower league first and then wait a couple days and then drop the, the main league guaranteed SBC, uh, there's, the fluctuations are going to be the same. It's really going to be the same. If they drop the big league first, that would be possibly a little bit problematic. But pretty much you can we can look to buy these cards on lightning rounds. I might not do it the first week. I want you guys to get some of these cards in your club on that first weekend. And then we can kind of see where it goes from there. We'll talk about that a little bit too. But one note about these guaranteed TOTS SBCs, they were 86 rated, but they required a team of the season player, right? So think about this. Most team of the season players are like 88 rated above, and they go for like 30K. Some of those discard TOTS cards are like 30K. And we'll talk about investing in those in another video. Um, but uh, when you drop an 88 or 89 rated card into an SBC, you really only need some 84s, 85s, and maybe one or two more 86s to complete out the rest of that SBC. That's why guys like Gundawan and other 84s did so well. That's why guys like Gundawan. I bet if we look at uh, who's another 84, let's look at Deli Ali, right? I know he's a center attacking mid. The positioning isn't the best, but he's prem and he has links. Uh, we're going to have to zoom in on this one. Let's zoom into the third month of 2019. By the way, you guys can do this on Footbin as well. Just Footbin players, FIFA, go to FIFA 19 players, and then sort by rare gold and sort by rating. So Deli Ali again, Saturday, May 11th, boom, from 5K all the way up to 8K. What happens the next week? He goes down. Okay, so he actually stayed high during um, during the Prem Tots, but he still went from 6K to 7.9 or 6K to 7K, one, um, 1K. Then after Prem Tots goes away, down to 4.5, back up to 5.8, down to 4.4, back up to 6K, 7K. So... The fluctuations like these on these cards are mad, especially for the 84s and 85s because of those guaranteed TOTS SBCs. Now for the higher rated versions, like a Parejo, like a Thiago Silva, both great SBC investments from last year. When did these guys get their lowest? And these guys actually got their lowest earlier on because, and especially I believe this year, the 87s, 88s, and those high tier cards are going to maintain that higher level, especially once we start getting the guaranteed, like the, the Icon SBCs come out again. And stuff like that so for these cards i want you to get in earlier rather than later see look at this last year again may 10th was when tot started lightning rounds come 86 pareo hit his lowest for the next the next two months 86 pareo was his lowest at the start of team of the season so may 12th right two days after team of the season starts my dude is twenty thousand coins he goes up a little bit 23k during the week but then a couple weeks later my man is back to 36,000 coins. And I'm telling you, this year, it's not going to be this long of a rise. I think the high-rated SBC fodder is going to boom right away because of the um, guaranteed SBCs and because of the icon SBCs. So uh, if you want to get in on some high rateds, I think that this week, I want you guys to really watch the market. And let's look with uh, um, Tiago Silva as well, right? 88 rated. He was 36K. Uh, during that first week of team of the season. And then boom, two weeks later, my man's 50K. So earlier is going to be better for getting in with these high rated cards. But the key is going to be, what does EA do this week? Because whatever EA does this week is really going to be a massive, uh, massive, it's going to affect the market massively because um, if they drop an Icon SBC early to try to drain coins out of people's clubs before the promo actually starts, 
that's going to be pretty problematic for our high rated gold investments. Um, they're going to just shoot up right away instead of, you know, dropping into the promo. So I really hope that EA does not release any SBCs until Friday, honestly, until Saturday. Please let these cards get squad battle reward supply tonight. Um, Weekend League Reward Supply on Thursday, which probably not a lot of people are going to be opening rewards on Thursday. They're probably saving for Team of the Season still. And then during Lightning Rounds, I hope that we don't get any SBCs until then. But what I want you guys to do is make this page on Footbin right here. This Cheapest Players by Rating page on Footbin. You go up to this the little SBC icon, drop down, Cheapest Players by Rating. I want you, if you're invested or, or if you like investing in this type, these types of cards in FIFA... This needs to be like on your, your bookmarks at the top, right? During this whole promo. You want to make this page your best friend during team of the season because this is going to tell you, this is this is like, I look at this page almost every single video with you guys because we look at, it just puts all the players in one place. Like Footbin, this is an awesome page. Anyway, 86 is right now, 18,000 coins. My like set price where I like to buy a lot of these is like 15, 14,000 coins. They haven't been there in like a month and a half, thanks to Foot Birthday. Look at Rakitic, man. Rakitic was 12K in early March when we were kind of like after promo. No, nobody really knew what was going on. Uh, and then boom, we have Foot Birthday come, comes out and then this stuff just goes crazy. But you can see for most of the year, a low point of like 14,000 coins for a guy like Rakitic. SBCs come out and then boom, all of a sudden he's 20K. And of course, these last few weeks with Foot Birthday, these cards have absolutely gone mental. So... A lot of the SBC uh, fodder right now, I want to see it go down more. I want to see it go down more. If you're worried that EA is going to drop an SBC, watch the open bids from Squad Battle Supply and watch the open bids from Weekend League Rewards this week on Thursday leading up to TOTS because um, I, I really want you guys to be able to club stock because we're going to have tons of SBCs that come out during this promo. Look at all these SBCs that came out last year. During Team of the Season Most Consistent, Martin Odegaard, Okay, not bad. Aiden McGeady, SBC last year. Antonio Valencia. Who remembers the Antonio Valencia card from last year? The Sissoko, which I just showed you. The Rabio, Flashback Rabio. Um, Kevin Mbabu had a card last year. They're Frank Ribéry with a premium SBC. Um, flashback for me. Who remembers this card, bro? This card tore FIFA up. He could get another one this year. I don't know if he's going to get a Tots or not. But... Um, Cards like this are going to massively impact the market. Like, what did this uh, SBC require? A Liverpool player and two Team of the Week cards, right? So, of course, you probably had some Brazilian requirements. One Brazilian, 87 rated. And that's going to make SBC fodder rise with those requirements. And you're going to have lots of these SBCs that come out during uh, during Team of the Season 2. Uh, one thing I did want to talk about is also informs, right? Informs are interesting now because... We have team of the week moments and sorting by informs on the cheapest players by rating page on Footbin doesn't include team of the week moments. So you kind of have to do your own little bit of research and know where these cards are at. Like 85 rated. It says Henderson is the cheapest 85 rated inform right now at 28,000 coins. But if I go back to team of the week moments four, let's look for an 85 rated inform. Gomez is actually like 4,000 coins cheaper than he is. Uh, and he's been out of packs for a week. Pau Gomez was like, he was like 15K in packs or something like that. This week's team of the week, Bonucci, 87 rated, 44,000 coins for an 87 rated, 34K for Jimenez. I'm a big fan of these guys, uh, Bonucci and Jimenez, both with great links and great positions. These guys are going to fly at some point during uh, team of the season as well. Max Cruz, the, this is now the cheapest 85 rated in form in this game. He's got German links, not bad. I think he was lower at some point. Actually, no, he's not. He's been around 20K. But I know there's been a decent amount of people that have wanted to invest in this card just because of uh, they know there's a lot of SBCs coming. So uh, I just clicked out of the page. Nice. Anyways, if you want to invest in something right now with this Team of the League moments, uh, check on Jimenez. Check on Bonucci. I'm a fan of those. Even like a discard investment of Raul is not bad. Um, and Immobile at 110K. I doubt that's really an SBC fodder card, but it might somehow work its way into SBCs. If you want to club stock one of those, if you're you're feeling really good about your position on the foot market, you got a lot of coins. Jarstein as well, 20k for an 85. So you can tell that some investors are holding these cards up, but informs are going to be going up in price as well during uh, this period of time. So basically, what I want to talk about with you guys today again is 
Um, the low rated SPC stuff, right? Even like a Sergio Roberto. Uh, I probably should search his name differently. You know, I don't look at a lot of SBC fodder like this. So uh, searching their names can be an issue. All right, Sergio Roberto, where is he at? 82 rated. I know he's an 82 rated card, but he's a right back, right? This card is used in so many different SBCs. If you're somebody who likes trading with low rated SBC fodder, this guy's 6K right now. Again, lightning rounds are going to hit. This guy is going to get packed, listed up on the market. And these guys are going to fluctuate like crazy. So if you can understand those fluctuations and start to understand, okay, this SBC is going to make them rise. This SBC is going to make them fall. That's something that can make you a lot of coins during this promo. But if you want to do a club stock, if you guys are a club stocker like me, what I'm really going to be looking forward to and looking into, um, like I, I love to club stock. Who is it? It was Chiellini. Chiellini made me so many coins earlier this year, right? This is an SBC fodder favorite. Uh, this guy was like 80,000 coins during the party bag SBC. What is he now? He's in the 50s. Uh, and I bought this guy for like the 35s in early March when he was just super duper cheap, right? When all the fodder was super cheap. This guy's 46,000 coins, right? Stuff like this uh, for a club stock. I want you guys to get in. Hopefully, we can wait to get in until lightning rounds during team of season most consistent. Uh, and when a lot of packs are opened on that Friday. But... If you can't get in then, um, if EA drops SBCs, then we're going to have to kind of just monitor that situation. But I think a club stock is in our near future because a lot of you guys, if you have coins, a club stock can make you coins. If you're going to go unassigned on 84s or 83s, you, cl you club stock your 88s, 89s. You know, that's like an investment that you're able to put in your club and you don't have to use transfer list space for or go unassigned for. So that's what a club stock really means. It's just buying one of all the high rateds and putting it in your club. Uh, but again... There's going to be so many SBCs that come out during this promo uh, that are going to affect the market, right? We, we thought Miranda and, and Christian Fuchs were good value. I mean, these these guys are going to be put to shame by some of the SBCs that come out during Team of the Season. Uh, that's just how Team of the Season is. So SBC fodder, get in early if you can with the high rated stuff and be ready for lightning rounds with the lower rated stuff because the fluctuations are going to be mad. And again, like I showed you with those SBC, with the, the prices this year, People are going mad for these SBCs this year, right? People are going mad to put their coins into an SBC. Uh, and they're like, this guy, literally, look at this, man. This dude was 34,000 coins in late February. But birthday comes and he literally doubles in price. It says 65K. I saw this guy sell for 80,000 coins in the minutes after the party bag SBCs were released. So not just Chiellini, right? Lots of other cards in this game, but again, focus on good positions, center backs, outside backs, um, center mids, and outside mids as well. Um, and then, you know what? If you have to go on a sign, you know, if that's your way, this would be like the easiest way to go on a sign and probably pretty profitable at some point during a team of the season. So at least do a club stock, throw some cards to your transfer list if you want to do some of that. If you plan on doing SBCs, uh, that can be something that you do because a lot of people are going to be doing SBCs during this promo. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.